stress is designated as the health epidemic of the 21st century. Stress management is crucial in enhancing quality of life and performance. It would be very impactful to have an architecture for monitoring and regulating the brain stress state for better quality of life. At Computational Medicine Lab, we are interested in using peripheral recordings in order to infer brain activity and then close the loop with non-invasive actuation for mental well-being. We design working memory experiments called NBAC tasks that induce cognitive stress. During the experiment, we monitor the brain responses. One back task consists whether the current stimulus matches the previous one. Similarly, three back tasks consist of indicating when the current stimulus matches the one from three steps earlier in the sequence. The demo shows a participant performing the NBAC tasks while listening to two different types of music. As observed, during the experiment, we collect various physiological signals along with brain recordings. Our investigation shows arousal estimation from peripheral signals resembles direct brain recordings. Comparison between performance and arousal reveals performance is highest when the arousal is within a moderate range. The results show that the average performance is lower during three back tasks then one back task while the participant was listening to a calming music. We could enhance the performance during the three back tasks by changing the music to a vexing one. Research grade devices for health monitoring are only applicable in laboratory settings. Therefore, wearable devices are practical alternatives for using daily life. We design new sets of experiments with wearable devices for remote monitoring and regulation. We use safe actuation such as music and coffee to close the loop and regulate the arousal levels. Here, a participant is performing NBAC tasks. The participant will be notified to take a cup of coffee when a low arousal is detected.
result of drinking coffee is served in increasing the arousal levels.